Hey guys, thought today we would go over what I've got in my screwdriver drawer. Um, by now you've probably seen my recent update video of some new new tools I've got. But uh, so we'll see, take a look at those again and just go over more in depth of what what is in the screwdriver drawer. So we got a lot going on in here. Um, and we do have some overflow until I figure out how to do some reorganizing when it's a little bit warmer, a little cold in the garage today. So we'll start over here. Um, had these quite a while. These are the Snap-on uh, Torx T handles. Um, probably should have found a cheaper option, but like I said, it's been a long time ago since I bought them and I probably needed them, so I bought them. I do like them though. Um, the only thing I don't like, the older ones, the sizes, I think were supposed to be right here or right there, one of the two, but they were just painted on. So, oh, and they might've been in the shaft or in the shank too, but those are long gone by now because these are pretty old. I've had these a long time. So that's what I don't like about them. I do have a new one, which might be this, that T40, no, that T45 is the old style. Um, I know I have got a new one around here somewhere that has, well, I think that's the old style too. I thought I had a new one in here. Hmm. Maybe I don't. Oh no, this is it. This is it. So it's stamped on the, on the shank. And then instead of just painted on, whoops, sorry. It's actually kind of molded in. So I do like that. But like I said, those have been really good. I think that was the only one, that one there is the only one I've had to uh, warranty. Um, had these a long time also. Oops, there we go. Uh, Craftsman uh, Metric Hex Wobbles. Got the ball on the end there. Focus there, maybe. Um, yeah, I bought these when Sears still um, sold tools. So I think I bought those, geez, maybe 2006, 2007. They've been around a while. I've got this Cornwell one, uh, which I think, again, was a crappy crappy idea the way they printed them on kind of like these standard ones but this one's long more off I bought this one I think it might be a three or four millimeter three millimeter probably um the set screw on the holder for the rocker arms on a commercial Kawasaki engine use this size so when I would adjust valves on uh, commercial John Deere zero turns, I would use this. And then back here, we've got the Cornwell standard. Uh, standard stuff doesn't get used much anymore, but got those. We've got the Doyle um, insulated screwdriver set, which are, seem to be really high quality. I like them a lot. Um, picked up some new picks a while ago. We forgot to go through this on my new tool video. Uh, but some new Cornwell picks. They had these on sale, I think, for like 60 or 70 bucks. So, picked those up. Really nice picks. Um, and then I've got some long bits hanging out in there. And then that right there in the middle, the gold thing. That is a Tecumseh tool. That is for removing and installing carburetor seats. And then that flat piece in the center right there is for setting float height. So you used to use that a lot. Then we've got some, just some small screwdrivers, couple snap-ons. Uh, we got the Mac uh, pocket pry bars, uh, 90 degree uh, craftsman screwdriver. Then we get into our good screwdrivers here, which are mainly uh, snap-on. I've had these sets f 
for a very long time. As you can see, there's still some old handles in there. Um, and then other ones I've had to warranty out and had to get had to get the new handles. But uh, yeah, I've had those screwdrivers a long time. And then there's a couple uh, couple older Cornwells in there, which are, they're really not that good of a screwdriver. Uh, they just really aren't. The handles aren't that great. They got that, I don't know if it's like microfiber. This thing is not wanting to focus at all. There we go. Like a microfiber. It's just... They don't, they don't bite like a snap-on screwdriver does. I can't say much about the new Cornwall ones, but these older ones here just aren't that great of a screwdriver. This thing is, what is going on here? Well, maybe. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah, there's my screwdrivers. Um, then had these a long time, too. Bought these right out of college. Um, metric, and then underneath in the red tray is... Uh, standard long 3h drive wobble um, bits then back here we've got some briggs and stratton carburetor screwdrivers uh, which are really handy this one here i modified wow this i don't know what i did to my phone maybe it's just too cold it just doesn't like it anyways modified this one for different carburetors but yeah, they use these for all the jets and stuff. They're just a, they're a flat. Boy, I don't know. <laughs> they're a flat, straight uh, shank. So it, uh, they work really good. Oh no, there's the modified one. That one was just a small one. Anyways, uh, got the impact screwdrivers. Uh, I got the gear wrench bolt biters. I got the large vessel and then the smaller Craftsman, which all of the, the gear wrench and the Craftsman are all made by vessel. Um, then just some pocket screwdrivers. I've got some uh, Mac O-ring spoons, which are really nice. Some bits. And then down here, we've got some carburetor adjustment, uh, adjustment screwdrivers too. So, and then we've got some overflow over here. I was in a screwdriver buying phase, so picked up some gear and posi drive. Probably never used those, but they were cheap, so I bought them. And then we bought some more vessel screwdrivers, just the regular um, JI, JIS um, vessel screwdrivers, the zero through three. Uh, those vessels, those JIS screwdrivers bite so well into a Phillips screwdriver. Um, so I love them. Wish I would have known about them a long time ago. And then I've got the vessel chisel screwdriver too. So, but until I figure out how to do a little more reorganizing, this is where those stay. And I had an empty drawer, so... So anyways, that is the look at my screwdriver drawer. Um, if you guys would like to see anything else, uh, let me know and we can, we can sure go over it and ch chat about it. Talk to you later.